so I went out the other day and I made a purchase and I want to share with you what I picked up oh by the way I'm wearing one of my McCall's dresses I made this dress in corduroy and I really like it however I do want to make another one in a lighter fabric and make it a little bit shorter maybe make it the length that it is on the pattern because when I made this one I lengthened it and I do like it this way but I just want to go ahead and make it again so that I can have two so I can have one that I can wear like in the summer and then I'll have this one that I can wear you know in the fall and winter so I went to the mall and I don't go to the mall very often but I was looking for a gift for my mom and let me show you what I picked up because I thought it was so cute I really like the color so I got her some like leggings and they are ribbed I don't know if you can see that let me see and I think that they are just so cute and then at the top they have the little writing on the inside and she likes to work out and do things like that so I picked up this to go with these I don't even think they came together because they weren't together in the store but I picked these up first because I loved them and then I walked around and I was like oh that will actually go with this so it's just a simple little sweatshirt but I think the two together will look really really nice so she will be getting this as a gift and hopefully she will like it I have a little fabric haul. So let me show you what I picked up. I went over to LA Finch Fabrics and I picked up some nice, nice fabric. All right, so the first fabric is a cotton poplin and it has vertical stripes. I don't know if you can see the stripes, but it has vertical stripes and then floral print and it's like a pink floral I think or coral that's what it is it looks more like a coral and I have a whole lot of this not sure what I'm gonna make I was thinking maybe like a button-down shirt I think that might be cute with some jeans but we'll see and then I picked up this rayon fabric and it has little types of flowers I don't know what kind of flowers these are so I really like the orange and the brown. I love those colors together. Not sure what I'm going to make with any of this fabric. Let me just say that right off the bat because I can say that every time I hold up a piece of fabric. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it. So yes. And then the last piece of fabric is this knit. And it is striped. So I have quite a bit of this too. Those are the only three fabrics that I picked up, but I have so much of all three pieces, so this should last me for a while. So I've been sewing. I'm working on a pair of pants. It's actually a pattern from 2008. This is McCall's 5667. I have made view A. I like the wide leg and I made it up in a muslin. The problem I had with the muslin is that the waistband came up way too high. It's over my belly button and I think the fit is okay. I just wanna work on getting that waistband down. So I determined how low I wanted the pants to come down and for me it was an inch and three eighths and I just drew a line across one and three eighths of an inch down from the front and the back pattern pieces and then I just cut that extra off and that way the pants will come down lower when I add the waistband. Then I made another muslin. Now I had a new problem. I'm okay with the waistband and I like that it's lower. The new problem now is that there's a little bit of gaping in the back of the pants. So what I've decided to do is to curve the waistband and I'm hoping that this will correct the problem. So this was a straight long piece and I just cut some slits into the waistband and then I spread them apart and just made a little curve and I'm going to tape it down and cut it out and this will be my new waistband pattern piece and hopefully it will make the waistband fit better with no gaping in the back. 
So I've decided to go ahead and use my new fabric to make these pants and hopefully it'll be really cute. I think I would like to wear this with like maybe a white bodysuit or something. And I wanted to mention that the pocket piece also had to be shortened because I shortened the front. I had to take off a little bit up here on the top of the pocket so that it would still line up with this edge here. Okay, I am almost done with these pants. So they do have a fly front zipper. They have front pockets. They do have back pockets, but I didn't put the back pockets on because I wanna make sure they're gonna fit okay first before I do any special details. And then I did decide to lengthen the hem by an inch. Waistbands have always been a struggle for me and it looks like I made the problem worse. What I've done is I've unpicked some of the center back seam and the waistband is still attached and I'm going to clip from this waistband down to where the stitching starts and I'm just going to open it all the way up. So I unpicked the center back seam up to this dot right here. And then at the top of the waistband, I marked over how much I want to take in. So now I'm just going to sew the center back and the waistband back together. And I'm gonna do that by stitching from this area here and going down to this little area right here. All right, so that is much, much better. If you know of a better way to take care of this issue, please, please let me know. I don't really like cutting into my waistband, but it works, you know, in a pinch. <laughs>